It is the Mike Kelter Show. It's 1025 The Bone. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, October 23rd, 2023, and we're coming to you live. Good morning. How is everybody doing? Good. 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 Woo. Joe, you good? Yeah. Galvin, you good? I am good. Gio, you good? Good. Carmen, you good? Spanish, are you good? Hello. Oh! Whoa! We broke Hello. him out of jail. Yeah. Yay. Oh, we have everybody thinking uh, you're in jail. I wish I was in jail. Actually, they, everybody had us thinking you're in jail. Yeah, right. that's true. We were second guessing it. People were like, uh, he's in jail and they won't talk. That's why they won't talk about it, even though we talked about it every day. Every day. <laughs> I and, was talking to people on social media. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. Well, because we called you one time and you didn't answer. Oh. And, and they were like, that's why, because he's in jail. And we're like, yep, you guys got it. So it's for some lady last night, she's like, What's he in for? And I wrote murder. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, figuring a lie. Might as well lie at the top. Might as well go you know? big. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's been crazy. Yeah. So, so uh, um, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be back. None of thank us you are happy that you're here. I'm I already know. itchy. Yeah. I'm Sorry. Scratching yeah. my arms and <laughs> yeah, burst out I by apologize. you. Yeah. I apologize. Gio, you want to scoot a little closer to her? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe is weird. Hey, uh, you want me to get plexiglass out of the garage? Please. That seems yeah, to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some wieners drawn on it. It should be all right. might have some tucked away. Do you know that the hard rock, I don't know how it is in Tampa, but the hard rock in Hollywood, only allows four people at a table. Oh yeah, but they you can sit on yeah, but you can sit on top of each other. Like you you can sit in four seats right next to each other. It's just only which I thought was great because you got to spread out a little bit, but kind of weird that they're prohibiting people from gambling. Although there seemed to be enough tables for everybody. Yeah, they have four, only four. I went. I went. Is it? Are they spaced out on purpose? It's like only four people at a table. I go. This is wonderful. Yeah, right. Get off me, people. I where's need some space? Where's the table with only one person? Right. Me. right. Yeah, that's what I want. When I'm losing money, I need to be have all the room around me. Yeah, I made a nice deposit this weekend to the uh, Seminole Indian tribe. Oh yeah, you want to ask me <laughs> if I lost? Be chief, you're gonna be chief soon. Yeah, <laughs> I was say, ask me if I lost. My father, my father goes, "How'd you do? Did you win?" I go, "Did I win? No, but I think I'm part owner of the building. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> put enough money in there." But anyway, it was a fun time. But Spanish, yes, good to have you back. It's good to be back, man. I miss you guys very much. We didn't think about you one time. I did. Think Once about Dizzy you filled in for you, we were like, we don't even do mm, that's before. fine. That's fine. It's did weird. you hear a lot of that? Um, they're replacing you and oh all that yeah, kind yeah, of stuff. yeah 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 mm-hmm. a lot of people that were glad that i was out a lot of people oh. thought uh, glad i was dead if i was oh, dead jesus yeah. oh. Yeah, was like, all Whoa, right. he's still that? a human people uh, yeah stand yeah. by uh, what does it say regina gonzalez oh my oh me oh she's yeah. beautiful yeah, she's go. a here beautiful we go again. Oh, no. here yeah. we go. She's a beautiful Cancel. woman yeah. right. i got in trouble with spanish because i said amanda papadopoulos was what's her name amanda oh, papas, papas. <laughs> Was hot and she got mad at us and made her take her picture. Her picture down. What? So now Mike's on the hunt for another one. No, 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 no. no. Yep. I'm just a distant observer at Regina Gonzalez for Fox 13, who's gorgeous. Good to know things haven't changed. Good to nope. be back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I, uh, I'm glad you're back. I make I make jokes, but I'm glad you're back. But your hair is bothering me. Yeah, when yeah. can you get a haircut? It's bothering me. I don't know. I'm afraid to do anything because uh, you know if I uh, can. Can we just shave the skin, top down a little bit? What if we just cut the exterior? No, you don't understand. Like if if you pull my hair and and a hair pops out, it's, it's game over. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, go the, home. The yeah, pain, you should definitely be it's here. It's not gross. The pain is oh. so oh. immense. Uh, yeah. Who cares about the pain? Yeah. yeah. No, he just oh. rolled the dice and yeah. said. So I just get them sick. Well, I don't have any. Like I'm not contagious. I don't have any infections or anything. How do you know? That's all. Because I did. The, I did blood work about with uh, that. I did a bunch of testing. You know, for I, I don't have AIDS. I have proof of that now mm. too. Still. Oh, so. well, good luck to you. But so no, that, don't worry. But if you don't have AIDS, no one's gonna bang you looking like that. Yeah, mm. yeah. No, they don't know. So I'm, I'm, I'm going in this week to see some more doctors, dermatologists, and stuff. But they, they, the antibiotics is what made me uh, all itchy. But they don't know why my pores hurt. So. Oh, I think you're just a baby. Mm. Get yeah, it over with, I, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. pores are yeah, yeah, yeah. my poor uh, pores. Poor yeah, baby. Poor boys, yeah. You know, you should probably just take the day. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> listen, I don't know if that's what you want. You might as well right? just take this week, make uh, the entire uh, month. All right, yeah. so here's a big question: yeah. Are you planning on going on the cruise? Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, uh, don't work for two weeks, just stroll yeah. in here to go three on the weeks, cruise. Three weeks. Three oh, weeks. I'm sorry, three weeks. I wanted to work last week, but yeah. you guys, I mean, well, Mike asked me to stay home. I didn't ask you to stay home. Yeah. I said to you, well, what do they, they didn't know what it was. Yeah. And I said, well, are you contagious? And you said, they say I'm not, but I don't really know. It's however you feel comfortable. And I went, yeah, I don't, I don't feel yeah, comfortable. Yeah, I was on a lot of I don't a feel comfortable with day. a what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, wow. Yeah, they had me on some good good steroids and stuff, so I apologize. Mm. 
Well, yeah, you're the worst. You, I tried to call both of you guys yesterday. And you, yeah. John Brennan says he's been calling you since Friday. I, I, my sleep schedule is all weird. I have, haven't been sleeping. So I don't understand. Some, uh, how, when my wife calls me, I have a special ring, so it wakes me up. It's loud and obnoxious so that I know if something's wrong, it'll yeah. wake me up. How come you don't have a special ring that maybe you can mm. hear while you're sleeping? It's the nuclear alarm sound is my ring when you call me. Yeah, well, change it to something uh, uh, less enjoyable. All right, okay. Mm. Yeah. Enjoyable? Yeah, maybe you just want to hear, mm. <laughs> mm. you're like, forget it. I'm just, okay. if I'm in bed and I hear, warning, missiles have been launched, I go, I'm not getting up <laughs> with this. Might well just die while I'm sleeping. You know? <laughs> That yeah. Nice, yeah. yeah, yeah. Did, well, you, did you get a lot of texts and a lot of phone calls uh, during your hiatus? Yes. Yeah, a lot. A you're lot. welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. I mean, I figured you're. Yeah. I, one oh. time, one time. Oh, yeah. well, people, I felt bad for him. He was bored. Yeah, yeah the people were concerned. They wanted yeah. to. It was, I got to tell you, it was really lonely, so it was nice to have people to talk to. I just yeah, saw but, a thing on the news. They arrested a woman for tri- driving 120 on the Gandhi Bridge. Yeah. Why? Why? I mean, the Candy Bridge is made for that. If nobody else is on the road, call ass <laughs> over it. That's what you do. I think she was like twice over the legal limit. Yeah, there is, oh, there, there, yeah, yeah, there's a little more to it. Oh, I didn't yeah. know. A little more to it. Yeah. All right. Uh, she's they, just they having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on, 120 <laughs> in a nice car, yeah. you you know, you feel it. When you're driving for a while, you when you're driving for a while and you're doing 90 and then you drop down to 65, you're like, am I even moving anymore? <laughs> Why not do 120 in a 60 after you had a couple drinks? Uh, Jose Canseco you. said it best. He said, uh, Jose Canseco got a ticket for doing 140 miles an hour. And he goes, the car is so nice, it felt like I was only doing 70. And that comedian said, it's a good thing you weren't doing 70. You might have decided to get out and go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel it. You don't feel it when you're going that fast for that long, you know? Uh, did you see her picture? Or no? I did. Damn I did. Well, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I, yeah. I did too. Everybody did. Yeah, it's everybody. Uh, there goes the hot or not. Yeah. I was going to pretend I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's uh, uh, not hot, by the way. Hot for the game. And not oh, hot. she was hot. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah she's yeah. hot. Hot for the game. But... Uh, by the way, since we're talking about her then, she was, uh, she, whenever they got her, she dug her fingernails into one of the yeah. uh, police officers. Oh, my God. Uh, she was arrested uh, for officer uh, resisting an officer with violence, battery on the law enforcement officer. Ooh. A uh, habitual traffic offender, possession of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia, speeding, and no insurance. Yeah. So That's maybe ridiculous. Mike maybe. said, "I don't know what the big deal is." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the fun I, police? It just said. <laughs> no. Uh, she, uh, she was. Uh, yeah, I mean, she, she was, was definitely hot for the game. Yeah, yeah. hot for the yeah. game. Oh, yeah. she was Penelope eight. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Penelope yeah. Park eight. Yeah. <laughs> um. That's it, folks. Have a great day. All right. See you tomorrow. See you. I have so many things to talk about. I don't even know where to start. Um, Spanish is back, everybody. Right. We uh, we have a graphic up on our Instagram at the Mike Calta show of the mighty return of Pipple Toddler. Uh, we'll be playing November 11th at the Stockyard in, I guess that's technically holiday over there for the big friends giving celebration. Yes. Featuring, uh, Roger, it said Roger and JP. It's a bone friends giving celebration. So I think all of the bone staff will be there, but it only... I only saw Roger and JP's logo, so I don't know if Drew's going. I don't know if Johnny B is going or what the deal is. I believe Roger and JP are, like, hosting it, I think. Oh, I got you. Okay. And then also, uh, people that come out there not only get to hang out and uh, Pipple Toddler playing and stuff, but also uh, you can win $1,000. Yeah, we're giving away on. prizes. Yeah. It's, it's our way of uh, saying thank you for the uh, holidays. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, we actually have practice today. Which I am looking forward to practicing, or as I like to call it, learning all the songs. Yeah, um, yeah I didn't need Pete telling me that he has not touched his guitar <laughs> since the last time we played. Oh, I'm like, oh, boy. Though, that's better. Yeah, That's better because Pete on the guitar every day, then when he grabs the guitar, he's like, wah, 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 trying to noodle everything out. With him now, going back to basic Pete is just it's a, it's the best way. So um, we got practice today. Uh, then I have a busy-ass week, man, because we are leaving on Friday. And I'm very excited for this cruise. I really wasn't for a while. Then when I saw our room, do you know about our room? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I, from what I remember. We have a three-bedroom suite on our room. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. We have a three-bedroom suite. I When I call the guy, the guy goes, you have the biggest room on the ship. And I go, why doesn't Bert have the biggest room on the ship? And he goes, oh, there's two. And I went, okay, so me and Bert have the same room. He goes, yeah. <laughs> Mike like, said oh, it's okay. better than any suite that he's been in on our <laughs> And business. it has a piano. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Oprah, Oprah stayed, stayed in this room. Well, she's still there. Yep. <laughs> she's in the piano. P. Diddy got both rooms and took down the wall in the middle so that they Damn. could all have one big room. Yeah. Um, and then we have our own pool and our own outdoor 
deck, it's pretty insane. You have oh. to have the card to get onto All the right. area. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. 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 We're the fancy people's yeah. Yeah. section. So. Yeah. Three weeks off work gets a three yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, nice. I, I feel yeah. like I can't oh, celebrate. I'm itching. I'm itching. Guess, Why yeah. is my hand itching? <laughs> if I itch on this cruise, right. oh, man. you have to take one for the team and just jump over. If you just start swelling up randomly in different parts of your body, then you'll know it's swelling. That's what I have. I'm going to swell you up if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. I would feel bad for you if you started swelling up. I don't need to infect my son. He's got a whole future. Out of him. <laughs> Do you think you'll have to disclose if you had any medical uh, episodes in the last? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm month? fine. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. If I show up and my ankles and wrists are swollen, do you think they'll think it's weird? Uh, sir, are your feet bleeding? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why were your feet bleeding? Can you please tell us that? <laughs> my feet? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Crack, I, there is, crack yeah, skin a lot or of crack skin. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, mm. dude. The first week that those. After I got home from the ER and they gave me steroids, I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have those steroids. I probably would have killed myself. It was, I mean, everything hurt. Having clothes on hurt. Touching stuff hurt. It was, it was brutal. Let's get to the fulls. Are you single or are you, are you I dating? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Oh. You yeah, know a woman who leaves you while you're in pain is yeah. not a good woman. Yeah. Death to us part. Yeah. In sickness and in health. Dude, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I haven't seen her in like two weeks. <gasps> oh! Well, yeah. that's understandable. I mean, you're all gross. That yeah. is, that, I, mean, I do Peter understand that. Bleeding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, I mean, like, we'll text, but it's like super, like, just. Hey, you alive? Cordial, yeah. yeah. Did you kill yourself? Yeah, no, no not okay. yet. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, no. Question for real. Did she ever say anything about me? No, no, uh, no, not know. yet. Not yet. No. We're supposed to. Does we, she have my number in case she needs it? She does. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We've been supposed to have a conversation about our relationship for like the past week, and she's just busy all the time. So I said, all right, yeah. If she wants me to take her out to talk about it, just have her text me. Yeah, and I'll yeah. take her out <laughs> and talk to her about you guys. All right, yeah. Definitely put in a good word for me. Uh -huh, we'll, see, we'll see how it works out. I appreciate that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can find a new happily ever after on the cruise. Dude, I got them in like, uh, like Scabies Anonymous. Yeah. A lot of <laughs> now. I'm sure there's some, so, yeah, so, I'm sure there's some support groups online. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, tons, tons you, of stuff, hey, yeah. We can itch each other till we bleed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Great. on poor, mypoorpores.com. So <laughs> my poor pores. <laughs> Yeah, that was oh, my job. Man. That was, that was oh, my job. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm it, sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's funny. It was twice back. it was funny. Twice. Yeah. Back to his it normal back. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a, it's a callback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I still don't understand who Tom Sandoval is, but he's being forced into my life everywhere. Tom Sandoval oh. is from Vanderpump Rules. Right. I know and that. He had the big Scandoval. Oh, Sandoval. Where, where he cheated on somebody? Yes. Uh, and really? He's a good look. He's a good looking famous well, guy. Not best friend. Not best friend. They were friends and they worked together and all that stuff. But those they they're best friends. Like and now I'm best friends with you. Now I'm best friends with you. But it was a girl that they worked with and her his girlfriend uh, worked with. So he's a nobody famous guy who cheated yeah. on somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but it, now he's on deal. his his TV show's on. Then he goes on the other reality show. And right. now he's doing a music thing that's coming to town. Yeah, like, he, I still don't understand who he is. He has a band called Tom Sandoval and the Most Extras uh, that could not sell enough tickets, so they pushed the date back. Oh, really? Well, I don't know. That there was something. I assume wow. that's what it was. Because listen, I'm a fan of Vanderpump Rules. If you have not watched Vanderpump Rules, it's a great show, and you can start from the beginning and watch the whole thing. Uh, but It bothers me, because I feel like if you like it, I'm going to watch it. Like, you're telling me to watch it, and I feel like if I watch it, I'm going to be like, why didn't I watch this from the beginning? Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot of just crazy stuff on there, but, uh, you know, he's an idiot. Yeah, he looks like an idiot, but yeah. he, looks like a, he looks like a cheap Harry Styles. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a poor man's Harry Styles. He got famous for being on a reality show and probably can bang any chick that what he wants. What is the reality show? It's uh, Lisa Vanderpump. Who she owns... was a mother of somewhere, a real housewife of something. She was on Real Housewives, oh, yeah. Okay. And she's also, she owns bars and restaurants. And, and I've seen her restaurants in L.A. So yeah. her, okay, so I get it. And, and then so they spin off. her restaurant, sir... That uh, they did a thing about that, and then of course all the employees that work there, the different hot waitresses and bartenders and all that stuff. Okay, they their inner workings of that place makes and, more sense yeah, now than uh, yeah. it did five minutes ago. And of course okay. they're all banging each other and banging new people and bringing them in and you know cheating on each other and doing all that stuff. So right. yeah. got it. Okay. Regular your standard yeah. reality <laughs> shows type sure. stuff. I look at listen to me. I'm back on 90 Day Fiance hardcore. It Which one good. are you watching? Because you I, had said about it, and they have it on Max now. And so I go, oh, let me see what the new season. 
Do you know how many 90 Day Fiancés they have now? They have 90 Day Fiancé original. They have 90 Day Fiancé the other way. They have 90 Day Fiancé, what if it was only 45 days? They have 90 Day Fiancé where they're all 90 years old. (laughs) I'd watch that. They have Mm. so many different 90 90 Day day. They're going to die anytime. Yeah. Yeah, So, okay. I think the way I I don't really know Galvin to be honest with you I watched ninety day to last resort because Big Ed's back on that one I oh, like that okay yeah they have but that too where they go to the uh, that's resort not my area. I'm in, I'm on the current season of regular ninety day they have a couple of great couples they had one fat black dude that I want to just hug I feel bad for him he got so catfished and he's like yeah but uh but I, and they're like look we trace it back it's a guy named whatever and he oh. lives here and he's like. Mm. Uh, I love I when they won't believe, believe it. Yeah, yeah, I love when they won't believe and it. And they're like, um, and he's like, I'd like to, I'd like to talk to that person. Uh-oh. And they're like, why? And he's like, I just need a little bit of closure, you know. And they're like, okay, but I feel bad for him the whole time because he really thought he was getting at somebody that he loved. So then, uh, then there's okay. This is my favorite. There's this one girl, and she's smoking hot, but she's a hundred percent. She had a Brazilian butt lift. She had fake lips. She's got uh, fake boobs. She's got fake everything, but she she's engaged to this little nerdy Italian guy who wears a hat all the time because he's bald, and he just brought her back to the United States, and she's like, okay, so, uh, like, she walks in the bathroom, and there's a toilet's open, and there's a little turd in there, and he goes, oh, don't look at that, and he flushes it, you know, like, you know, like <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, like, this guy could never get that girl, and she's gross, too, because she's got, she looks so fake, it's ridiculous, but for him, she's a knockout. Then there's another one. Where this woman uh, went back to Moldova, had a boyfriend in Moldova. Moldova is a hot one for a 90 day fiance. But then when he found out that she was trans, he freaked out, even though she already had the operation and all that. This woman, the penis is the least of her problems. Mm. She looks like I, I have not seen this much plastic surgery on anyone. Her face looks like she looks like she's a snow leopard, she's a transgendered leopard. Her cheeks are up here. Her mouth is down here, and the guy's like, listen, I was young when I found out that she was trans, but we had a good relationship. I'm older and more mature now. I'd like to try it again. So she's flying back over to Moldova. She she looks like a crazy animal came to life. If, if this guy's got to be like, I'll take the penis before I take the rest of this stuff. This package is insane. So I'm back on 90 Day Fiance. My wife last night was like, I'm going to bed. She goes, ooh, watch 90 Day with me for a couple of minutes. And I went, ugh, okay hour later i'm like this is the best show on television i can't stop watching it anymore yeah we have we have so many things to get to today do joe does anybody even know i know geo knows yeah and spanish probably knows do you know galvin what what went down on friday <laughs> oh no for this is this, real this will blow yeah. your mind i can't even save this for later on i was gonna save it for later on the show but i can't save this anymore. this will blow your mind <laughs> I had a full-on home invasion on Friday here. Really? No yeah. joke. So I'll explain yeah. what happened. So uh, Gio is here and Joe is here. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is gone. This so is after, right after I left? After you left. Yeah. Right Maybe after you 10 left. minutes at the most you'd been gone. Okay. So I have uh, Sophia who is, you know, a, more like a house manager, but she's like a cleaning lady. So she's in my, in my living room and she's taking care of everything. Sophia talks to my pool people, my lawn people. You know, I don't, she'll come in and see that the trees are growing long and she'll call Tom and tell him the, she does everything. So I hear, I hear a commotion going on out there. Not like anything bad, but I just hear stuff. Well, and Sophia usually has a team of people that work with her. If you remember the ring doorbell went off, the ring doorbell went off and you were like, who the hell is that? I go, I don't know. I'll go check. And I got it because I thought maybe Faison was coming back because they Uh, forgot something. So now I walk over and I'm standing where Spanish is. Okay. And I hear talking. In the uh, in the living room, and I hear like maybe maybe a little foreign accent. My neighbors a couple of doors down are Asian, and I don't. They have a special needs daughter. They're very private. I don't ever talk to them. We wave to each other, and I hear there's a problem, and they need nine one one. Oh, so I'm thinking maybe that it's them, and they came over here to get some help. So I go, what's going on now? So I walk into the hallway towards my living room. And I hear you need nine one one, and they hear yeah you and something, and I go what's going on? And I walk in, and these two guys are standing in my living room. They're in their early thirties, late twenties, and they're standing there together. And I go, what's the problem? And they look at me, 
and then they fumble one like tried to reach into his backpack oh and yeah. then they moved and i moved at him and they ran out the door now i have double doors in my living room that are normally locked but sofa's airing out the house so they were open so they made, they went through the doors so they went through the doors and out towards my side door on the pool so i go chasing after him and by the way your stop sign right that's, there that's buddy. right listen that's right <laughs> i will say now <laughs> i mean that Watching how fast Mike moved, I was in awe. Yeah. Really? And oh yeah, I still feel confident that I could beat him, but nowhere nope. near as confident now because this guy can move. So, <laughs> so said to pull the video on the on the camera because she'll never be, believe it. Nobody will ever believe it. <laughs> Those guys ran out of that, ran yeah. out the back door, and Mike grabbed the pool skimmer. It so the, like. yeah. the pool so skimmer. That's, that's what I was going to ask. What do you got? So, you got? so the pool skimmer <laughs> had was not on. It was just the pipe. Right. And I'll take one guy. It's hard to fight two guys. Yeah. So I grab that pipe as I'm running out, and I go after him. So they run towards my neighbor on the right connie's house they go that way dude right right away if somebody is in your house and you say what's going on and then they run yeah it's bad something's yeah. now you up. have to, you have to put it this way the only the only the only thing i'm giving myself credit for is having the the conscious thought to know that something is wrong immediately because there are two dudes in my house and when they saw me i could see the look in their eyes and they were like we were not expecting this uh, and they ran and when once they once they shuffled, I went right at them because once that guy went to his backpack, the next thing that was coming out was yeah. a gun. Yeah. So once he moved, I went right at them and they ran out the door. But so, also not very good, whatever they were intending to be. Well, there's or a, there, I'll get to that. Or anything, yeah. Because think about it is if I already left, but Gio's car is there, your car yeah. is there, no, yeah. your wife's car is there, Soph's car is there. I don't know if your son's there's car is there. There's a hundred cars. I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like you so, don't just go do to do into a house with that many cars. So I go out. <clears throat> And and uh, one of my other neighbors is in the circle, so now I know something's going on. I go, where are they? And he goes, they went that way. So I run through Connie's house, mm -hmm. and I run through the back. Now, she she lives right next to me, and we have a golf course behind us. <laughs> so we go back. Uh, shoes on or no? Shoes on okay. me, yes. Yeah, yeah. the, right. the guy didn't have shoes on. The, the guy house. did, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 So I go down to the back uh, of <laughs> Connie's house, and I don't see them. So Joe, it's me and Joe now. Yeah. Joe is looking over walls to see if they're hiding behind something because they move pretty quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm still standing in the house with, like, Soph, and at this point, Amanda yeah, comes out. Yeah, was back here with the girls. And yeah. uh, making sure because they're taking care of the ladies. <laughs> they're freaking out. They don't know if those guys are coming around the back of the front door. Like, nobody yeah, knows yeah. what the hell's going on. Yeah. Do you grab anything? A pool no. noodle? <laughs> Nothing? Mike has darted Hands off. Of water. Gone. I mean, he sprints and disappears yeah. across the golf course. These Joe, you guys are going. Mike's behind them. I'm chasing Mike. Joe's chasing Mike. <laughs> so I go like this. I get behind the house. I get behind <laughs> Connie's house. The whole golf course is open behind me. There's people golfing on a hole. Okay. They're probably on their second stroke on the hole. And there the two guys are. And they're on the other side of the lake. So they're a good distance away from me. So I look at them and I go, run pussies that's exactly what i did i don't know why i was mad and I, i'm standing on my thing in my hand i'm <laughs> like you better sandwich. run pussies <laughs> so then the golfers looked at me and they're like what i'm like those guys were just in my house and i go hold them you know i'm just like yelling stuff so i tell joe go get my golf cart yeah. because i'm chasing them yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so joe I'm, runs back to the house to get the golf cart i'm out in the yard at this point and i hear mike yelling to joe go get the golf cart yeah and joe comes running over <laughs> and jumps on the golf cart he's like there's no goddamn keys now and side like, note <laughs> good guy golf carts i've been keeping that golf cart charging in for almost a year and it, it won't move it's got power but it won't move mike's screaming at joe across the go joe what are you doing Bring like, why is it taking so long? Right. Get the goddamn I forgot car. you needed the key. I, I and Joe's, like, I, Joe's like, I don't have the key. He's slamming the brakes, looking so, for the keys. So now I'm trying to get them to get the key to get the golf cart. Key was, in the, keeping... was in the green egg, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When they come back, they're going to take the golf cart. What an idiot. So, uh, where does he keep his guns, Joe? <laughs> I'm not telling you. So, <laughs> evidently not close enough. So, uh, now Joe is over there trying to get the golf cart. <laughs> he, he can't get it going. The guys are across the lake. I don't want to stop watching them. The guys jump on the golf cart of the people who are golfing yeah. and try to steal it. Oh. Yeah. And the guy goes, get, get off my golf cart. 
and runs and jumps on the back of the golf cart. <laughs> the like golf and he's like punching it. the guy yeah. as they're driving away. <laughs> I mean, it's, Carmen, this it is complete and utter hysteria. insanity. And at this point, there's other neighbors are yeah. all coming out of their houses. All hell's doors breaking are open, loose. <laughs> police cars are pulling up. It's it's insane. So so the guy is wailing on him, but the guy drives into the bushes. We can't see anything anymore. My thought is now they're get the, they're going to get the golf cart back first. Then we find out that those golf carts have GPS on them. They won't go past the perimeter. It'll just die. So I'm like, the worst thing they're going to do is drive it to the perimeter, get off, and be on foot. They're clearly not the smartest guys in the world. I'm going after. Them. And plus, they they had like a backpack. You assume that they're armed because right. at one point, yeah. I feel like that guy that guy turned to reach for his bag. Oh, when for sure. You and Joe were walking in the hallway. For sure. I was standing there talking to Soph, and these were they're like, "What do we do? We need help. We need help." Yeah. Now, so um, Joe and I are in the car. <laughs> is, I, <laughs> I have a shotgun, a handgun. And Joe comes out with the mace. <laughs> Joe can't even lift it over his head, but Joe comes out with the mace. I'll, I'll never forgive myself for not catching oh, this on video. Oh my God. When Mike comes out with his arsenal and Joe's got the mace and they're loading up the truck to leave. <laughs> the expendables over here. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was insane. I, I just, so I'm going to be honest with you. I had a shotgun with me that has its giant like clay shooting shotgun that had no bullets in it. Because if I did see them from a distance, I wanted them to be able to see that I had the gun. Right. And I'd be like, you know, stop. And they'd see that I had a gun, but I'm, I'm not shooting them. I'm not shooting them, and I'm not shooting them with the shotgun. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I wanted that just for, for sight. But I did have a gun on me. So I go after them. And I also know now the I, I'm chasing after them. I can't chase after them and shoot them. Right. I can chase yeah. after them and call the cops, which sure, is my yeah. intention. So I, I drive. <laughs> I'm driving around now. I actually drive onto the golf course with my truck. I got a mace and, out the window. Yeah, and it turns out not on the grass, Carmen, on the golf pad. And the golf state of the fairways. Go, the uh, golf people are there having a golf tournament. And I pull up to uh. the one guy with the tag, and I go, "Hey, this just happened, or whatever." He goes, "All right, I'm going to call back ahead." I go, "All right, I'm going to turn around." So Joe and I drove around the perimeter for 20 minutes to a half hour trying to find them. We can't find anything. Then my wife calls me and she goes, "You need to come back here." And I go, "Why?" And she goes, because there's like 20 cop cars here, yeah. and they're all looking for you and trying to figure out what's going on. And I said, let's put these in the trunk. <laughs> well, no, I, I said to Joe, I go, here's the thing. Those guys are on foot. And if they're now I'm starting to think about this. They came in. You come in the house. You ask somebody to call a cab for you while they're calling the cab. Then you hit them and you take those. You don't ask them to call 911. You ask them to call 911. Yeah. Once they dial those three numbers, they're done. The cops are coming. If right. you hang yeah, up yeah. and you don't answer, yeah. they're coming. Right. So that's not a very smart thing to do. Then I watched the video. They walked up to my ring doorbell, rang it, and then just opened the door and walked in. Yeah. Mm. Casually, not like sneaky yeah. or anything. Like they own the Something place. was going on. It was something weird. And also, they didn't come in here barging into the sofa and grabbing anybody. They came in here asking for help. I go, there's more to this. There's something weird going yeah, on. Yeah, but I got to tell you, I mean, if you have one ounce of intelligence, you ring the doorbell, nobody answers, you open the door. In Florida, you go, hello? Yeah, yeah. There's, no, there's more. You know I mean? There's right. more to this story. When, when end, I first so. walked in and Soph was talking, they're like, please, please help us, help us, help us. Yeah. And like, they acted like they were right. being chased by somebody. Mm. So... So we yeah. drive <laughs> we drive around the neighborhood, come here. I got this cop out of my house. Big dude looks like like uh, muscular Chris Godwin. And I talked to him and he's like, we're not really sure what's, something's going on. We're trying to figure it out. The neighbors are all, evidently there was somebody else at six o'clock in the morning that was ringing doorbells across the street. Is you that said, what you yes. saw? Someone? No, 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 well, no. The cop, Remember the, the cops cop. were that here. That was yeah. part of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Joe went to investigate, but right. they were already gone. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's tied in somehow. Yeah. So uh, Joe and I, I go, I, I talk to the cops, and they're talking to me, but I go, I'm going to go look for them again. They're like, please uh, don't. And yeah. I go, I, 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 I go, they were in my house. I have kids. I need to know what's going on. And they're walking around the neighborhood. So meanwhile, there's a car on my street that's a purple truck. And I'm like, is this anybody? And they're like, no. Yeah. So we go over there, and they have electric bill and water bill and the dashboard stuffed in there. So I got their names and all that. And I go, okay, I'm, I'm Detective Calter will figure all this out. So I start pulling out, and this shady-looking guy comes pulling down my street mm -hmm. in the car. He's got his window open. He's on the phone. He's looking around, and he looks at me, and I look at him, and I go like this. He says hi, and he pulls down the street towards the cops. 
So I said to Joe, I go, something's up with that guy. I go, A, he kind of looks like the people that are in my house, mm -hmm. and B, he he looks shady. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, he looks not shady, but he looks like something's going on. Yeah, suspicious. So I pull a U-turn, mm -hmm. and I wait over, and I see him talking to the cops. I'm like, well, he's talking to the cops, so he's not doing anything bad. So my wife's like, you need to come back here. That guy's related to the guys. So long story short, there were two brothers. and They were in your house? They or? were in my house. Okay. They were at the Lightning game the night before and have been not did not come home something happened i don't know like it they ended up getting arrested later on that night still on the run and i think they were scared i think something scared them i don't know if they were with somebody else who scared them they needed help for some reason or other and i think they got arrested with i think they got arrested and taken for mental care so i don't know if they were on drugs or what the deal was but i ended up talking to the guy who i said looked shady that was the brother and he's like, we are beyond ourselves. He's like, these are not troubled kids. They're like, they're two college educated kids. They never have any problems. We can't figure out what's going on. We're, uh, they're embarrassed that this happened. And he, and he looked at me, he goes, thank you for not shooting them. And yeah, I go, yeah. yeah, I go, I'm going to be honest. That's not going to happen again. And he's like, no, I understand. He's like, but I, he goes, we can't figure out why this happened. So honestly, I went in the beginning to wanting to kill everybody to feeling bad by the end of the day. Because something was wrong with these kids, and they didn't. I say kids, but they're they're adults. But they, I think that they genuinely came to my house looking for help, mm. and and walking in someone's house in Florida asking for help. I think when they saw me, they just got scared and ran because they were in the comfort of women who were like, "What's the problem?" And then all of a sudden, I come in going, "What's going on?" And they yeah. got scared and ran. So I don't have to worry about a home invasion because it, we know who they were and what was going on. But I I don't really know the full story, but. I felt bad because I, I, I was going out of town. So I had, tell, yeah. I had told security yeah. and the cops, I'm like, I am going out of town. And I had to make my son stay at my dad's house instead of staying here alone until they finally called me that night and said that they caught him. So, you know, I, I, I genuinely, at the end of the day, felt bad because I knew something more was going on. And I hope that they're okay. But Jesus Christ, that could have ended mm. a, in a weird ass way. Oh, yeah. It, it could have ended in a lot. It, you know how the reality of it is, I would have went out there with a gun. And accidentally shot self. And I'm so glad that, that didn't yeah. happen. Yeah. No. Or one of the golfers. I mean, you know, how many golfers the world needs, man? <laughs> one of the golfers is not Way too many golfers out there. That I'm dying. Let me just tell you. I'm dying to talk to the golfer who jumped yeah. on the back yeah. of that golf yeah. cart. Yeah. That was because his golf cart, his golf clubs yeah. were on there. That was one of the best, <laughs> bravest moves I've ever seen. He's on the back of the golf cart holding on like this. Punching yeah. the guy in the in the in the front, and those guys are like, "Why are you hitting me?" Like it was fantastic. Oh, I wish to God, guy. Listen, I had a little bit of a speed burst, but I did not have a lot of because I could not run. I'm not running across a golf cart chasing a uh, golf course chasing a golf cart. The sprint from the hallway across the kitchen through the oh. living room out the patio door to the neighbors out to the golf course. That was. I will admit that was impressive. Really? Yeah. yeah. And even Soph goes, originally I had money on you, but she's like, there's no way. Oh. <laughs> she's I like, mean, I'm not called over here. Yeah. I think Soph wanted to make out with me after that. She was oh, like, she was. Uh, Do you yeah. have that on video? We should watch that again. Oh. oh. No, it was, it was, it was the, one of the craziest things I've ever witnessed in my entire life. That's it so was wow. one year. One year we went to Livestock and uh, Motley Crue was performing and the entire staff went to go watch Motley Crue. And while we were there, uh, these guys from a band, a local band called the Sofa Slugs, who we were fighting with on air, they got backstage and they were on our bus. And they were just trying to leave us notes, you know. And when we caught them on the bus, they ran. And I, all I know is I've been living on that bus for three days. And now these guys are just on it. My money's in there. My driver's license is in there. They run. I run after them. I ran so fast and caught that guy, tackled him, <laughs> smacked him up. My brother-in-law was 17 at the time. He goes, I, I never, I've never seen you move so fast. And I go, I'm going to be honest with you. I have mercury wings on my feet when, yeah. when adrenaline's yeah. pumping, but that's it. And it only lasts for about five minutes. Like, if I had to run away from a bear, I got five minutes to run, and then I'm like, okay, yeah. bear, you got me. Yeah. It, Enjoy it, the meal. It was impressive. I was very surprised. <sighs> uh, yeah. Can I tell you in a related thing, because you said about the lightning game, I almost got into a fight at the lightning what? game. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. fights with you? Uh, a really dumb kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fan? Uh, what? I did. Oh. 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 The oh. lightning game, yeah. Chatty daddy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, real quick, Chad and I are sitting there, and for some reason, I didn't know this happens, people are constantly 
sitting in seats that they're not supposed to sit oh, in. Oh, yeah. really? That's because yeah. they do it at the Rays game. So we're sitting there, and then, like, these six kids come and sit behind us, and immediately the uh, usher is like, if you don't have tickets, you can't sit there. And they go, what? And he goes, let me see your tickets. And they all get up and walk away. <clears throat> and then, like, two girls come over here and sit, and these people are like, those aren't your seats. And they get up and walk away, and then they sit behind us. Then these people are sitting on the right side of Chad. I'm sitting here, Chad's sitting next to me on my right, and they're sitting over here. And I believe what their wish was, when Betty gets out of jail, we'll go to a lightning game. That's what, it, that's what it looked like. So then there's this kid who's probably, I don't know, 23, 25 years old, long hair, <clears throat> just goofball. And he goes, the two seats next to me are open and have been open. We're in the second period. And I'm like, sweet, good. I got leg room. He goes, can I sit next to you down over there? And he kind of caught me off guard. And I go, those aren't my seats. I don't know. And uh, so then he moves down, and I'm like, oh. He moves down, and he's jittering and jumping and yelling, good substitution, good sub. Good and this sub? Is, yeah. And he's vaping and doing all this stuff, and I'm like this, idiot. <laughs> so he goes, can you scoot down this way, you two, so I can sit next to my mom? And I'm looking forward to watching the game, and I go, no. <laughs> uh, and he leans down, and he goes, hey, mom, I can't sit next to you because some people won't move. And I go, you're moving, move, get out. <laughs> and he goes, what? And I go, move, those aren't your seats, get out of here. And he goes, no, we're cool. And I go, we're not cool. You're moving or I'm moving you. And he goes, no, no. And I, no. Go, I go, when the puck stops, you're moving. And his mom's like, I'll move, these aren't our seats. And, this <laughs> and I go, I know. <laughs> and so then the longest play in the entire history <laughs> of the lightning ever playing, the puck doesn't stop moving because I don't want to stand up until the puck stops moving. Right. So the puck finally oh, stops moving. Oh, that's a great moving. way to get the usher's attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finally the puck stops moving. I stand up and I go, go. And he goes, okay. <laughs> uh, and then when he gets by his mom, he says something. And I go, you're going to get knocked out. I go, shut up. <laughs> the mom goes, I'm so sorry. And the other two that had just been released, uh, we're like, we're so sorry. I go, it's not your fault. He's what, an idiot. What was the name of it again? Huh? What was the name of the scenario? Going to the game. Joe Joe jo just got out of jail and wants to go to a hockey game. Oh, uh, Betty, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Betty. Yeah. Betty got out of jail and wants to go to a hockey game. It was wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was wild. And Chad the whole time sitting there on mushrooms like, uh, <laughs> yeah. all right. All right, let's take a break. We'll get the show moving. It's Monday morning. Galvin uh, has news coming up a little bit later on, but we got Sporkle when we come back. It's the Mike Calton Show. This is 102.5 The Bone.